Hey loves, so welcome back to my channel. It's wonderful to have you and be amazing to have you back here always by subscribing and clicking the bell and turning on all notifications for updates. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the newest product of Lux Organics, which is their tinted sunscreen. And to be honest, super na excited ako sa product na to. Kasi to be honest, ang Lux Organics is one of my favorite skincare brands. Kasi bukod sa effective sila, napaka affordable pa. So without further ado, if you want to know my thoughts and my review on this product, then continue watching. Alright, first up, let's start with the packaging design and the product information. And dun muna tayo sa box. And the box is very simple and it reminds me so much of their skincare mist packaging. More particularly, yung rose water glow mist nila kasi yung color ng box is white and pink. And when it comes to the actual item, it comes in a squeeze tube and yung cap niya is a twist cap. And on the nozzle, you will see a protective film. Moving on to the basic information about the product. So this is the Lux Organics Ultimate Defense Tinted Sunscreen UVA UVB Protection. Protection, SPF 50 PA++ with Galactomyces Ferment Filtered and Vitamin C and I got the shade Fair. It also says that it can defend skin from harmful rays that causes aging and skin pigmentation while also giving enough coverage to hide an even skin tone. It contains additional benefits of antioxidants like Galactomyces Ferment Filtered and Vitamin C to keep skin hydrated and radiant all throughout the day. And these are the ingredients of the product and you may pause the video if you will. And now for the claims, it says here it's lightweight, it has smooth finish, it has no white cast, it's also alcohol-free, paraben-free, and it has 50 grams made in Korea and this product is worth 349 pesos. Before we proceed to the application, I just want to mention that this product comes in three shades. So we have fair for light skin tone, natural for medium skin tone, and warm for deep skin tone. And the shade I got is fair. Okay, so let's proceed to the swatch now. And since isa lang naman yung shade na kinuha ko, which is fair, isa lang yung masaswatch ko for you. Naririnig ko na kumakalog-galog yung product sa loob. So I'm assuming that this product will be liquidy. So let's swatch it now. And based from the swatch, masasabi ko talaga na liquidy yung product kasi nag-run talaga siya down on my hand. Dahil liquidy nga yung product, you must shake this up first before dispensing the product. And tip lang din before nyo siya i-shake, make sure nakatakip pa siya or naka-twist pa yung cap niya. Kasi ang mangyayari kapag shinake nyo siya tapos wala yung cap, tatalsik yung product, magkakalat lang siya. So ayaw naman natin mangyari yun. So before you shake it, make sure nakatakip pa siya. Now let's proceed to the application and it says here in their directions On clean face after skin preparation, place small dots on face and evenly spread using fingertips, brush, or a damp makeup blender. So, dahil nakapag skin prep na ako kanina, diretso na tayo sa application. And by the way, I'm just using a natural light para mas kitang kita nyo talaga yung totoong shade ng sunscreen na to. And kung pinapanood nyo talaga ako, kilala nyo na ayaw kong gumamit ng mga tools when it comes to applying my base. So, for today, gagamit lang ako ng fingertips in applying the sunscreen. Ayan, lumapit na ako sa camera para mas makita nyo yung application. And I'm gonna apply it first on the left side of my face para mas makita natin yung difference. Parang ang puti yata sa akin ng fair. Ayun no, kita niyo yan. Yung difference ng face ko and my neck. Parang ang puti niya. By the way, just wanna mention that this product has a scent. And yung scent niya parang rose scent. Pero hindi naman siya overpowering. Medyo faint lang yung scent niya. So hindi siya masakit sa ilong. Pasensya na loves kung pabago-bago yung lighting natin. Kasi nga natural light lang yung gamit ko ngayon. Kaya minsan dumidilim, minsan naman okay. So pagpasensya niyo na. So I'm done applying it on the left side of my face and oh my gosh, super puti nung fair para sa akin. Bakit ganun? Kasi ang alam ko yung natural shade is for medium skin tone na. Kasi nga tatlo lang yung shades sila. Pero super puti nung fair sa akin. So ibig sabihin natural ako. So ang gagawin ko na lang is I'm gonna drag it onto my neck as well. Para naman medyo pantay sila. Hindi naman yung parang ganyan. Parang medyo gray din yung color niya on my face. Hindi ko alam, hindi naman sobrang dami na lagi ko, pero bakit ganun? Parang super white or super gray niya on my face. Ayan, medyo okay na siya dahil nilagyan ko yung neck ko. Ayan, so i-apply ko naman siya on my right side. Lagi ko na rin siya sa neck. 
Dagdag lang ako sa gilid ng nose para ma-cover yung redness. And here on the sides of my lips. Ayan, so I'm done applying the sunscreen on my face. And ito na yung itsura niya. So, kitang-kita pa rin. Ang puti talaga ng shade na fair. For me, dinarag ko na nga siya sa neck ko para at least magpantay naman sila. Anyway, let's talk about the coverage of this tinted sunscreen. Masasabi ko for me na it has medium coverage. But I believe it's buildable to full. Kasi napansin ko na para na-cover niya yung dark under eyes ko. So, hindi na sila ganun ka-dark. At least na-cover na siya. So, I don't feel the need of adding a concealer if I'm going to use this product and nawala rin yung redness around my nose and on the corners and the sides of my lips. So, okay siya doon. Now that it has set quite a bit, masasabi ko yung formula niya is very lightweight. So, tama yung claim nila na lightweight siya. For its finish, yes, I believe on their claim that it has smooth finish. Pero kung tatanungin nyo ko if it's matte, dewy, I think it's just satin yung in-between matte and dewy. Kasi hindi naman siya ganun ka-matte like try na dry. And hindi naman siya ganun ka-glowy like super dewy. Hindi naman. So, parang in-between siya. So, I think it's just a satin finish. And it doesn't feel feel too drying or greasy at all. Speaking of blendability, this tinted sunscreen is very blendable. Kita niyo naman sa application kanina. And that's also the reason why I love using my fingertips and applying my base. Kasi may nabibigay na warmth yung fingers natin that helps melt the products or skin. Kaya mas gusto gusto ko talaga gamitin yung fingertips. Although messy nga lang talaga siya kasi syempre nalalagyan ng product yung fingers nyo. Pero you can always wipe it off with wipes and okay na ulit. So ayun muna and I'll just put on light makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, yung back, so ang ginawa ko lang is nagkilay and then nag-liquid blush and then nag-lipstick lang ako. Hindi ako nag-powder ng face kasi balak ko para mag-update later kung mag-oil up yung face ko or magiging dry yung face ko. So, we'll see later as my day progresses. Actually, dito lang naman ako sa bahay namin. Magluluto ako mamaya so medyo magiging mainit. And medyo mainit din sa bahay namin ngayon kaya makikita talaga natin kung puhulas ba siya or magiging oily or magiging dry. Hindi ko alam kasi I have normal to dry skin. And let's just see how it goes. I wait lang, bigyan ko pala kayo ng close-up look on my face. And again, I'm in front of a natural light. So, ayan yung itsura niya. Wait lang, parang napapansin ko na medyo umu-okay na yung shade on me. Hindi ko alam kung sa camera lang ba. Pero ngayon, tumitingin ako sa salamin. Parang konti-konti na siyang pumapantay on my face. Pero yung dito, banda dito sa may temple o dito sa may noo, parang kita pa rin yung pagka-gray niya. Ayan no, di ba? Pansin nyo, kita yung pagka-gray niya. And again, I did not put any powder on my face. Hindi rin pala ako nag-highlight, pero kita nyo, parang medyo nagiging glowy yung face ko a little bit, di ba? Hindi ako nag-highlight. Ay, yung blush ko naman, hindi naman siya super highlighting. Parang nakaka-fresh yung tinted sunscreen na to, ha? Parang habang tumatagal, nagiging one with my skin na siya. And nagugustuhan ko. Mag-flash this din pala tayo since may SPF to. So, tingnan natin kung magkaka-white cast or flashback siya. Looking at it, medyo off talaga yung shade sa akin. Pero hindi naman dramatic yung flashback or yung white cast. Parang hindi naman, no? So, medyo ayun nga lang. Hindi match yung shade niya for me. Anyway, it's now 11.03 p.m. And mag-update ako later. So, titingnan natin kung may magbabago ba sa face ko. Kung mag-oil siya, kung mag-dry, or kung uhulas ba. And again, take note, I have normal to dry skin. So, we'll see later. Hey loves, I'm back. So it's now 3.12 in the afternoon and mag-update lang ako and I guess final update na rin to kasi I feel like decided na ako sa mga thoughts ko about the product of Lux Organics and Tinted Sunscreen nila. Balikan ko lang muna yung packaging kasi kanina nililinis ko yung nozzle niya, pati na rin yung cap and napansin ko, ayan, ayan nag-overflow siya. Kanina, ganito yung angle ng squeeze tube habang nililinis ko siya. Pinukunasan ko lang naman siya ng tissue pero ayun nga, nag-overflow siya. Ayan, tulad na nangyari ngayon and lumalabas tapos yung product. So, ang ginawa ko, parang itinayo ko siyang ganyan. Tapos, saka ko siya pinunasan. So, gusto ko lang siyang i-mention kasi para mabigyan kayo ng tip kung paano siya i-store. So, I guess, mas maganda yung nakaganito, yung nakabaligtad siya instead of like this. Kasi, anytime na mapisil nyo to, tapos every time na gagamitin nyo, feeling ko super messy na nung cap nyo. Kaya, para sa akin, mas maganda yung nakaganito siyang nakastore sa makeup organizer nyo or kung ilalagay nyo ulit siya dun sa box, nakabaligtad pa rin para hindi masayang yung product or maging mess si yung packaging kasi yun lang yung napapansin ko. Masyado kasing liquidy yung product so madaling madali siyang ma-dispense. I wish the packaging could have been an airless pump na lang. Yung parang sa sun glow para hindi naman maaksaya yung product no. Pero ayun lang. That's just my feedback about the packaging. 
Now, when it comes to the look of my skin, for the pros, considering na almost 5 hours na yung nakalipas since yung in-apply ko siya kaninang 11 a.m., mapapansin nyo na naging dewy na yung face ko, which I somehow like kasi nga normal to dry skin ako. Kasi kanina, di ba, nung in-apply ko siya, parang satin finish lang siya in between matte and dewy. But now, you can see na medyo glowy na yung face ko. So, medyo glowy na yung forehead, yung nose area, and even my cheeks and konti sa chin. And para sa akin, this one looks healthy. Hindi siya mukhang oily or greasy. It just looks healthy and glowy. Ganun lang yung dating niya para sa akin. But if you have oily or combination skin, please do set this with powder. Yun yung masasuggest ko sa inyo. Kasi feeling ko parang baka humulas siya agad. Pero sa akin, since normal to dry skin nga ako, hindi naman ako nakaranas ng hulas kahit pinawisan ako kanina. Dito ako malimit pawisan niya sa gilid ng face. Pero hindi naman siya natanggal completely. Siguro nag-fade siya, pero hindi siya naghulas talaga. Alam mo yung parang natutunaw yung base mo. Like, may kita mo talagang yung nahihiwalay dun sa skin mo, pansin na pansin mo. Hindi naman siya nagkaganon. Keep in mind lang, if yun nga, meron kayong oily skin or combination skin, iset nyo yan with powder kasi nagiging glowy nga siya in time as the day progresses tulad nung sa akin. Ayan, nagka-glow na siya, ba? Another thing na nagustuhan ko dito sa product na to is yung coverage niya. As you can see, natakpan niya talaga yung dark circles ko or yung dark under eyes ko. Take note, hindi ako nag-concealer. Yung sunscreen lang talaga yung nalagay ko sa face ko. And more than that, hindi nag-grease yung under eyes ko kasi yan talaga yung problem area ko. Bigyan ko kayo ng close-up. Ayan. Kasi maraming lines or folds yung under eyes ko. Kaya malimit mag-crease yung concealers ko. Pero ngayon, kahit sunscreen lang yung nilagay ko. Since very lightweight siya, hindi siya nag-crease under my eyes. Which is a very good thing. At least, diba, if I'm on the go and kailangan ko lang talaga ng quick fix on my face, ito lang talaga yung ilalagay ko. Hindi ko na kailangan mag-concealer. And I will still look presentable. Sa feeling naman ng face, masasabi ko talagang tunay na lightweight siya. As in, parang hindi ko maramdaman na meron akong nilagay sa face ko. So, in summary, for me, the pros of this product is unang-una yung coverage niya. It's medium coverage, but it's buildable to full coverage. Formula niya is lightweight. It's super blendable. Finishes from satin to dewy. And for the price, it's only 349 pesos. And yung availability ng product na to, you can buy it from Watsons and Lazada. For the cons, meron lang naman akong dalawa. So, yung una nga yung packaging, sana airless pump na lang siya para hindi ganitong kahassle or kamesi. Second one is yung shade selection. Although this product has three shades, pero yung shades nila, parang ang hirap din templahin or ang hirap i-match sa skin tone. Kung unang in-apply ko siya sa face ko, parang nahirapan akong i-match talaga siya. Pero habang tumatagal naman, nagiging one with your skin na siya like this. So, hindi na siya ganun ka-gray or ganun kalutang sa face ko. Kasi kanina, ba siguro mag-insert na lang ako ng clip dito on my side para makita natin yung comparison ng shade when it's first applied and now na almost 5 hours na siya sa face ko. Ngayon lang talaga siya nag-adapt sa skin tone ko. And 5 hours is a lot of time ha. And, and for me, parang hirap naman nun. It's too risky kasi syempre, paano kung lalabas ka na and yung face mo, ba parang ibang-iba talaga sa kulay ng katawan mo. So, maghihintay pa ba ako ng 5 hours? So, ayun lang. Medyo nahihirapan ako sa shades nila. And sana improve nila yun, ba next time. Siguro masasuggest ko na lang sa inyo, if gusto nyo talagang match yung shade na mapipili nyo with your skin, siguro mag-adjust kayo ng one shade darker. So, kung light skin tone ka, siguro natural na lang yung kunin mo. So, there you go, love. So, those are my thoughts and my review about the Lux Organics Tinted Sunscreen. Now that you have reached the end of this video, I am hosting a giveaway and one lucky winner will win the Lux Organics Ultimate Defense Tinted Sunscreen. And hindi na muna pala ako bumili ng another product for the giveaway para maipakita sa inyo ngayon. Kasi ang gusto kong mangyari is, yung mananalo for this giveaway, siya yung pipili ng shade niya. Kasi diba tatlo yung available shades for this sunscreen. So kung bumili ako, tapos hindi naman pala shade nung nanalo, eh di sayang naman ba So ang gagawin ko, I'll be contacting the winner once the giveaway ends. And then papipiliin ko siya ng shade. And then order ko sa Lazada tapos ipapaship ko na directly sa kanila. So here are the mechanics for the giveaway. Number one, you have to be subscribed to my channel, like this video. Third, follow me on Instagram at wendyxdan kasi dun ko ya announce yung winner. After that, go to my recent IG post and click on it and then tag three of your friends with the hashtags Lux Organics Tinted Sunscreen Giveaway and hashtag Love Wendy X Dan. And then final step, comment lang kay dito sa baba ng Lux Organics Tinted Sunscreen shade nyo plus your video suggestion with your IG username para mabilis ko kayo makontakt kung kayo yung mananalo. 
This giveaway will end on July 5, 2020, and the winner will be announced on my IG story, so good luck. As always, if you liked today's video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Check me out on my socials at Instagram, I'm WendyXDN, and Twitter at WonderWoman. And before clicking out, I post two videos every Friday and Sunday, so make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified. Thank you loves for watching, I'll talk to you soon. Love, WendyXDN.